So now in this video, we're going to look at the light dependent resistor. I accidentally wrote LED there instead of uh, LDR, but uh, in any case, LDR is how it's abbreviated. It's also often called a photo resistor. But in any case, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So most resistors are uh, fixed value resistors. You grab the value you want. The uh, light dependent resistor is used when you want a resistor whose value changes based on the light that falls on it. And you can do all kinds of things with it. But the uh, main takeaway is that if it is bright enough, you got almost zero ohms of resistance. So I think uh, I only got it down to about 30 ohms in the sunlight or something. Uh, but in any case, compared to when it's uh, very dark, it's almost zero ohms. So I'm just going to write that. In any case, we get it dark enough. We will be able to do that. I have the uh, cover for this alligator clip. It goes around the light dependent resistor. It gets dark enough where we can exceed 200 million ohms of resistance. So as far as this circuit is concerned, if it's dark enough, the LED will be off completely. If it is bright enough, then the 220 ohm resistor is going to be doing the majority of the resistance. So we still have a little bit here but it's going to be small in comparison to uh, that one. And uh, so we're going to use a blue LED. It'll still get pretty bright. So here's what all the light dependent resistors or uh, photo resistors I have come across look like. They're uh, white on top, a couple dots where the leads come out the other end, and then a swiggle line going down the middle. So now we have the LCR meter. The light dependent resistor is down here. We'll zoom in, look at the part number really quick. This is the uh, DE5000 right there. They do still sell these. I linked them to my website, light dependent resistor there. There's an attachment here with uh, alligator clips and stuff if you want to use those. But in any case, this is for measuring components, not for measuring circuits. It's not for measuring like voltage and uh, current. Just uh, you can measure resistance uh, really easily. All you have to do, hit the power. It's actually an LCR meter, so you can measure inductance, capacitance, and resistance. So it determined that this is a resistive component. There's an R there, but in any case, it's 1.6K. That is the main thing. So we're gonna lower the resistance to begin with. I'm gonna grab a headlamp. You can see the light gets brighter, and it'll work its way down. Looks like 80, 72. Depending on how I get the light on it, it uh, will go below 60. But in any case, there you can see about 60. So that's relatively low, and uh, now, we are, I think in the sunlight, I, I got it down to at least 30. But in any case, I'm going to turn the lamp down. You see the resistance goes up. And then I have this cover for an alligator clip. I'm going to uh, set that on top of it. And uh, it's still showing resistance as the primary thing. And it shows secondary features. So now it thinks it's more of a capacitor than a resistor. There's just way too much uh, resistance. It thinks it's a 1.6 picofarad capacitor and uh, let's try to control the light level there's a 1257 million it's swapping around about 60 million so this goes up to 200 million I'm pretty sure there we go 105 148 and uh, 172 so there we go past uh, 200 million I think it gets all the way 200 million but in any case it's really close now if you want to uh, make the resistance number bigger it thought that we went to capacitance. I'll put my finger over it again. You already saw that, so 90 million. Mega ohms, now it's picofarad for capacitors. 147, there we go, 191, almost 200. You can just hit that button, now it's inductance. And uh, now it's uh, capacitance. Now it's resistance, right there. And it's out of limits. That's the main thing though. There's so much resistance, I can't measure it anymore. It's over 200 million ohms. And so now let's get to the actual demonstration. Light dependent resistor. From the positive supply to the fixed resistor, 220 ohms, long lead the anode, the LED, short lead the cathode to ground. Got to wire it in the right way for it to light up. There's somewhere around 1 milliamp of current flowing. This isn't completely accurate at this light level. I'll turn the lamp down. You can see that it went lower. So that is as bright as uh, that gets, as we saw before. That should have gave us somewhere around... 6,000 ohms of resistance approximately, but I get the bright light on there. There you can see current went up. We got more current flowing. I also got some circuitry on top that might have a little current going through it. But for the most part, what we see on there is what we get. And we can go to the other extreme. Grab the uh, cover here, and uh, the LED's gonna go out. And 
let's see if it goes out completely there we go that's dark enough where it went out completely but if we needed to we could just cover the hole on top of there and uh, it would have gone out that completely there there is a slight glow right there from the overhead light which isn't very bright but we can put that out so any case that's how you can use it if you just want the resistance uh, directly and there's a bunch of other ways to use this resistance change for uh, much more interesting circuits but uh, that is it for this video so thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most I'll see you in the next video.